daughter that he has. Besides, we're all praying for him in our own ways. Dear sister, <laughs> nobody is stopping you from praying for our father. I mean no harm, okay? Father, like I said before, thank you for praying for our father. Continue to say those prayers and book mass for him, for his quick recovery. It's all right. Um, I think since this sickness has defied every orthodox medical treatment, I will now proceed to invite him came by the great traditional healer. Yes. Into this situation, yes. Invite another God. We already have someone here. His God has not been able to heal our father. And then, you want to bring in another God? Huh? Hello? Mm -hmm. My friends, you don't seem to understand my motive. We're all on the same page. Yeah? Go ahead and say your prayers where I go traditional way. Yes. Yes. I know it never fails us. And then, make my palace a war front, a battleground, clash of gods. You come with your god, he comes with his. <sighs> Do not say anything again. Next, please. Jamiki, huh? why am I having this feeling about you not interested in making sure his majesty bounces back to his feet? My goodness. Just when you are given an opportunity to make sense, you sound baseless. You are stupid in the head. Who the hell do you think you are? Eh, Jamike? Who raised you? Excuse me. How dare you open your mouth to utter such stupid utterance? How dare you? Why what? Mother, it's okay. Jamike, please, I will not have you speak to my mother like that. No, it's okay. Don't try it. It's okay, okay. everybody. It's okay. okay. Calm down. Calm down. Let's wait. Let's wait. Don't try it again, Jamike. Don't ever. Oh no, I think you have to question your daughter, Adora. Yes, you have to question her purity. Ojumi River is a healing river. It cures all kinds of skin irritation and even leprosy. So why is it that the water that's supposed to make His Majesty whole is now causing damage and pains. Not just pains. On this he can be. Oh yes. Oh yes. There must have to be a way that the water entered the coconut. Mm -hmm. Something is definitely wrong somewhere. Huh? No. Who were they at? Ebe Milisi Bao Piwog. No, do the not. Do the needful. Yes or no? You have to do the needful. Ask questions. Hmm? Let us go. I don't know. You can't see what I'm doing. You're not worried. How would I warn you never to set foot into this palace again? Praise Jamie again. Point of correction. High tension! Prince! High tension! May I remind you that I am a priest of God, ordained in the order of Melchizedek by the Roman Catholic priesthood. It is bad in the sight of God and man that a mere mortal like you will confront a harmless priest in a reckless manner. What is the problem? 
Does my coming to the palace cause you any harm? Or do you just hate me for no reason? Is it possible for you to just shut up? First is that you violate my rule. I said, do not set foot into this palace again. I see if that is not enough. You call me reckless. Tell your God that you are not welcome into this palace. I will not warn you again. Young man, I've been part of this palace before you were born. When your mother was just a palace maid. There's some truth you need to know. Honestly, you have got. You stand before me, insult my mother that she was once a maiden in this palace. Now get out. He's a naked wire, but who are you? Who are you? Call him Prince High Tension. Prince High Tension. Uh huh. Prince High Tension. Oh go, oh go. Prince High Tension. I say it Prince High Tension. Oh no, Prince High Tension. Clear the way for him. Mora, you go. The frequency is high. He want to be the king by all means. He want Are you still a virgin? Answer me! Or have you suddenly become deaf and dumb? Papa, I do not understand what you're saying. Adora, a kadikachisi king. Are you still in the state of purity? Now, what kind of question are you asking her? If she is not, we should be performing her duty. To his highness. That is it, woman. That is the problem. The water she fetches has become poisonous to the king's body. If you doubt it, go to the palace and see the king. See the state of his health. My daughter, what happened? Mama, I don't know. I have been performing my duty. Besides, I know the consequences if I, if I do anything stupid with my pride. Good. You know the consequences. But before that, I bet you, if I found out that you are losing for the rest in the palace, I will behead you and bury your body behind the backyard. Nay, how could you say a thing like that? God forbid, not my daughter. Then one heart to know what to do now. I will not spare her. But she's I will not spare you. Get out of here. Hey. The Adora, you are still a virgin, right? Yeah, yes, Mama. How would you confirm it to yourself? Invited into the hospital. So, who else is aware that he is sick? His Majesty, my prince. So, aside my father, no one knows about his illness. Yes, my prince. Excuse us.
as a little boy. I remember you telling me that no matter what, nothing should stand between my dream and I. And since I became a man, and I found out that the only dream I've always had is to become king. It's quite unfortunate that you have been standing between me and my dreams. I'm sorry, Father. I just have to obey you. I just have to. Because you're standing between me and my dreams. I'm sorry. says his majesty is sleeping. Sleeping with his eyes open. Mm. This can be good. Father. 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 Father! No, 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 no. Where are you going? 
Come back here, you can't leave me halfway. Her voice is getting louder. I think all is not well with my father. Excuse me? What are you doing? You can't ruin this moment. What's your problem? My father, your husband, might be dead. And you don't care? Really? We all die someday. Come back here. Excuse me. Wait, Eziapa, wait! has finally happened. Good. I will crush anyone that stands against me and my children. Hmm. <laughs> Behold the new king. Behold Igwe Jamike. Alfred Ezeka the third. Hmm. Mission accomplished. Great. It has finally happened. I heard it loud and clear. Hey! Igwe Zekana! It's your hand. Don't conclude yet. Let us go to the palace and see what is happening. Yes. But we all heard the Ikoro. You can't be very sure. He might wake up again. Let us go. Let's go at once. Hey! Nietzsche! Why are they running like a mountain of fire? No, uh, there is fire on the mountain. Eh? Useless cabinet members. Eh? Look at them. Uh, am I even calling them cabinet? Look at their uniform like ritualist. Uh, no, God, God this. What am I talking about? Eh? I personally told the Igwe by writing eh, that he should make me the only owner who, and his confidant. No, they did not even reply. Did they reply me? What am I talking about? Eh? They will just hear the Ikoro and they will be running, running katakata. They can't even drink water and drop cup. Look how the thing goes. Eh? Useless cabinet members. Thank God you're not even going my way. Rabbi! Hey, look! Hi. Keep running! Keep running! Thank God you're not running towards my direction. <laughs> not quite long we left the palace. Now, look at what we have come to see. Hmm. Well, hey, yes, sir. Oh, no. Please tell us. How did it happen? Oh, no, I was not in the palace when it happened. According to Ikenna, the guard in his chamber. His Majesty slept, but couldn't wake up. Princess Delight and they cannot try waking him, only to discover him dead. Hey! of the Lord be upon you all. Why the Ikoro sound? Mm. The Ikoro. How can you find it? 
He wears a card the second off. The Jamaican kingdom is no more. Huh? Father Declan, your friend is gone. <laughs> you are free to go in and pray for his soul. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Do you want him to go disturb the dead? Hey, I understand that your God is everywhere. Stay right there and pray for him. Uh, Jamika, you don't have the right to tell the priest where to pray from. Just like you don't have the freaking right to talk back at me. I am still the first child of this family. Let me tell you, bro. You might be the first son, but you're not yet the king. So stop getting over your head. What is going on here? Father Declan, you are free to go in and see your dead friend, His Majesty. Father, well, I'm not trying to oppose you. But, why would you want to disturb the dead? Father, just let us mourn in peace. I just lost my father. I'm pained. I'm so broken. Just let me mourn my father in peace. Please. Do not give me the impression that you people gladdens in our pain. Enyeze. Yes, Lolo. As the wife of His Majesty, Igwezekatu of Eziyama Kuku Kingdom. I command you to take Father Declan to go see the remains of his bosom friend. Let me see who will intercept my order. Okay, Lolo. Mm. Father. Dikana! He's going to hold you here now. Daddy Ba! The priest might wake our Iwe again. Sure. Let's wait and see. Prince Jamike is frustrated. He wants to be the Iwe by all means. <laughs> father! <laughs> My father! I can't believe this! <laughs> You see, mm. I wish he knows what we know. Prince, Avan will give him the shock of his life. You know, mm -hmm. so life is so short like this. Mm. I'm certain His Majesty has not told them about Uju. And the son. I can't believe that is gone. Oh, my father. Oh, my father. Oh, my father. I'm heartbroken. to set foot into this palace again. And just yesterday, I gave you the same warning. What are you doing here? My son. I, I, I am not your son. What are you doing here? You can't exempt me from the palace. My bosom friend, your father, the Igwe of Eziamoku Kingdom, is resting with his ancestors. And you want to restrict me from praying for his soul? I see you're one of the fools working tirelessly to frustrate me from my dreams of becoming the next king of his Yamoku kingdom. 
let me warn you for the very last time. You are treading on the wrong path. Priest, be careful. I can see that the truth is hidden from you. Excuse me. Let this be the last time he sets foot into this palace. Have I made myself glad? Yes, my prince. Good. My prince, you are welcome. Hey! Zeribe! My prince. Who are these comedians? Meet Queen Ujumwa, the first wife of Igwe Zeka, the second of Asia Mugu Kingdom. Prince Avana, the first son and the heir apparent to the throne of Asia Mugu. I should have known better, Zeribe is not feeling too well today. Perhaps you came to visit my father. The way to the visitor's quarters is at the back here. Yeah, you come here. Take these people to the visitor's quarters. When we need them, you go get them. You get me? You understand? Good, so, it's the other way. Oh no. My prince. Take me to my father. Please come along one time. Hey! Hey! I am the happiest man on earth. <laughs> uh, yes, to see Lola Ujumwa again and her son Afana. I knew it would happen. I definitely knew that they will come back to this kingdom. So I am very happy. <laughs> I am happy. <laughs> My uh, elders, uh, me too, I'm very happy. Uh, <laughs> mm. Things are beginning to get interesting here. Uh, Prince Jamike will know the difference between six and half a dozen. <laughs> Those is egos and pride will be deflated like a helpless balloon. <laughs> uh? Yes. <laughs> 
I am worried why the prince could not wake his majesty up again. Not all this nonsense that we're saying here. My worry is that. Uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe it is the right time for his majesty to join his ancestors. Uh -huh. uh, you know what life is. We have to go back yes. to where we came from. You may be right. Mm. Let him go and rest. That man has really suffered. Oh, suffered. Uh, go 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 go. I think the best thing is for him to go and rest. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let us go. So, this is the time for Prince Jamike. Like you rightly said, let him prove himself now. Uh -huh. The ball is now in his court. Let us know what he can do. Oh, oh. Oh. An echo. Oh. An echo. <laughs> it is time to prove it. Mm -hmm. Walk. Mm -hmm. Let us see. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well, that's true. Wow. Somebody tell me this is not happening. One of you, you were once the maid in this palace. You never said a word. You never told me. Father Deacon said that you were a maid in this palace. Really? He said that to humiliate me, to make me feel like a fair prince. No! Don't say that, my son. You're not a fair prince. Oh, not a fair prince. He wants to. He wants to mock me. He wants to humiliate me. He wants to embarrass me. But I'll tell you one thing, mother. I have had enough of his excesses. He says this to preach today. Mother, that you were an ex-maid is not even my problem. But for crying out loud, you should have told us about them. They are royals. Rumor had it that she died long ago with her son. Long time ago before you were born. I never knew it was a mere rumor. Besides, it's irrelevant to talk about it. My Nothing! Mother. Nothing is irrelevant! Most especially history! History are meant to be told! You should have told me! Now the dead is back from the grave! You and I know what we did before I succeeded in taking Father Strong. Now, some dead came back all in the name of a crown prince! I have him to contend with, I have the elders to contend with, I have everyone to contend with because of your carelessness and negligence! Now, let me tell you something, Mother. No human born of a woman will take the throne from me. No one! Mother, my brother is absolutely right on this one. I mean, of all the information in this world to keep, you chose to keep an information as vital as this? Come on, mother. What are we going to do about them? Can you see how calm and how fearless they look? These people came prepared. What are we going to do? Ujumwa! No one can stop the moving train! No one! We have come so far! Neither you nor your son can overthrow my position! No, I won't let it happen! No! No! You have chosen. You have just drawn the battle line! Ujo is alive. Hey. She was never dead with her son. Gosh. Mother, are they from the royal family? Yes. That is the daughter of Igwe Azubike Adolphus. The famous Azubike from Agulele Kingdom. Exactly. I was her personal maid here in the palace. Mm. Quite interesting. Will you shut up your mouth? Hey. So Father Declan knew about them all this while and kept it away from us. 
Maybe father asked him to keep it a secret till he joins his ancestors. Well, I think I like them. Eziafa, you need to sit up this time for the looming war is advancing heavily. Mother, what are you talking about? What war? How? Ujumwa cannot stop us this time. They will never stop me. You will be the next Igwe of this kingdom. Please, can I say something? You have absolutely nothing to say about this. No, mother, he has something to say. What has come over you? Why are you trying to impose what is not his right on him? I mean, he is our father's last son. I am not interested in any throne. I just want to be a free man. Will you shut up your mouth? What do you know? Tell me, what do you know? Now listen to me. You will do as I have told you. Is that clear? Mother, you seem not to get it. I am not interested in any throne. I am okay with the way I am. I want to just be a free man. Being a king, which I'm not interested in, it's like a cage to me. Then you'd rather be in that cage because you will fight your way to the throne. Mother, you're just trying to fight a lost battle. Iziafa is not the crown prince. He can never be the king. You're just trying to cause a necessary problem in the palace. Next time you challenge me in this palace, I will teach you a lesson you will never forget in a hurry. Now shut that your mouth. I am talking to your brother. And her brother just declared not interested in the throne. We shall see whether you'll be interested or not. Wait, what is mother trying to do? You can ask her yourself. As for me, I am not interested in any throne. I am okay with where I am. <laughs> Wonder shall never cease in this palace. So His Majesty has this kind of beautiful family. The prince is so handsome, good looking, and sweet. I'm dripping already. He must be very stupid. We are here discussing about the war that is about to elude the kingdom. Oh, and you are talking about the prince. Do you think Prijamike will leave the throne for him? He has been recognized already. Even the elders of this community attested to it. So Prince Jamike should quietly lose his blows. As for me, I am in support of this new prince. He deserves the throne of Asia Moku Kingdom. He is so tall, cute. Good looking and handsome. I don't know what you're saying. No. As for me, hmm. I support him. As for me, I think I like him and his mother. They are so calm, intelligent, and highly preserved. Hmm. Okay. Oh. We'll watch and see how things unfold. As for me, I'll see the end of it. Let's go. I welcome you once again to your kingdom. Prince Afan, I'm delighted you are here. Thank you so much, Father Declan. I am honored. Thank you. I'm so happy that you and your mother are here. It gladdens my heart. That is what His Majesty always wanted. We have a lot to talk about. A lot. It's all right, Father. I am here now. Thank you, Father. Thank you for revealing this to us. I am happy to have my big stepbrother here with us. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Delight. I appreciate it. His car is parked at the Royal Garage. Black spider with plate number ATN 191 EW. What did I say? ATN 191 EW. W. W. Good. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. What did I say? Good job. Good job. Good job. What? What are 
you doing with him? Who? My stepbrother. You're a fool. You must not be seen anywhere close to him. Why, if I may ask, mother? He is my stepbrother. I mean, my big brother. Now listen and listen good. You must not be seen anywhere close to him. You have to team up with me and your brother to make sure he sits on that throne. Is that clear? No, mother, it is not clear because I would do no such thing. You and I know that Iziava is the least in this royal household. He can't possibly be the king when Afana is here. It's not possible. Uh -uh. Now I know that you are a fool. Yes, you must be a fool to utter such nonsense from your mouth. Now, who told you it is by seniority? Mother, no all. Who told you? Now, listen. I do not want to see you anywhere close to him. We are family. You are supposed to be on our side. If I see you anywhere close to him again, you will see the other side of me. Nonsense. When did my mother become this mean? How can I possibly be on this? No, I will always be on the side of the truth. I don't know what has come over her. I'm sure she's not serious. Thank you, Father, once again for coming around. It's okay. Thank you. Have a safe ride. It's okay. May the good Lord bless you. The Holy Father, the Holy Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> good night, Father. Good night, Father. Okay. Good night. I wish I met you alive. I saved you many times in my dream. Why? Why, Father? Why didn't you wait for me to come back? Mom told me beautiful things about you. You made history, world on marble for yourself and for the people of Asia Moku Kingdom. Indeed, you were a great king. I promise to uphold your legacy fame. I am sorry I wasn't there for you when you needed me. I am sorry it turned out to be this way. I miss you, Daddy. I miss you so much, my king. I am so hey, 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 hey. I have condoned enough of your excesses in this palace. Now take this mask ready, you call mother. Pack your baggages. Leave this palace. I won't warn you again. This is my house, my home, my palace, my kingdom, my empire! Out! Take this masquerade! Get out! Why are you still here? I can see you are ready for trouble with whole madness all over you. Did you ask questions before interrupting? I'm asking. Did your mother bring you? Enough, Master Ray! Nothing to say. 
say nothing. Bring it on, bro. <laughs> hasn't done on you that I am the first son of this king lying here. I don't need to enlighten your crack brain about this palace. You claim to be your empire. Listen, before you were born, before you came into this world, I have been in this palace playing with my friends. <laughs> I warn you, I warn you for the last time, do not breach the peace and tranquility in this palace, else I will show you where you belong. Maybe I have to remind you why I am called High Tension. If I get hold of you, I will not stop until you are completely right up. Take your baggage. Take this mask where you call the mother. Get out of this palace. Run as fast as your legs can carry you. I would not warn you again. We shall see. My presence. You're back. Yes, Did you see Father Declan in the church? Have you passed the message? No, my presence. There's a bad news. What bad news? My presence. Father Declan is dead. What? Did I hear you well? My queen. That's who is that? Father Declan is dead, my queen. Is this a joke? How? How? When? According to news, my princess, he had accident on his way home last night. Die just like that. No, it's not true. No. I'm sorry, my princess. Before I got to the parish, they already confirmed him dead. I'm so sorry. Father, what did His Majesty? tell you is the cause of his situation. You are his confidant, his closest friend. You must know something. 
He must have told you something. Please tell me. I want to know. Why is his condition like that even before I was born? My dear. Your father, His Majesty, had a strong bond with a deity which had been trying to denounce, but he find it difficult to let go completely. Bond with a deity? Father, did he confess that to you? I tell you what I know, and the people of his Yamoku kingdom know. Because they all worship the same deity. River. But Father, if His Majesty has a link with the deity, how come he made you his closest friend and built a church for the missionaries? Don't you think this act of his humanity and benevolence is the cause of his predicament? I mean, he supports the church. At the same time, he is the traditional ruler of the land, the custodian of the law. My dear Princess Delight, your father, his majesty, has it in mind to unite every citizen of this kingdom. Like you said, he's a benevolent man. You might be right. He wants everybody to coexist together. If the deity or the spirits find it offensive, well, you might be right. But let me tell you this. We have to continue to pray for your father and men like him to be seen in this world. Men who take everyone to be equal, who don't look at what you do, your race, your culture, your religion, but they look at everyone as one. Love, love is the first commandment and love is what we need this time and the time to come. Yes. So, my dear, like I said, we need to be praying for your father. You are a true friend, a kind and humble man to all. We will forever miss you. We will forever miss you and my father. May your soul and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God, the rest in peace. Amen. From the bank account, someone restricted me from withdrawing money. I was also restricted by Afanda from withdrawing money from the family's account. I just found out now. Afanda did what? Afanda freeze the family's account. Where is he? How am I supposed to know where that fool is? What do you ever know? Where is he? Where is Afanda? Afanda! Afanda! Where is he? You don't know. Do you ever know? Do you ever know? 
He has bitten more than he can chew. I will not take it. Not now. Not ever. Mother, are we just going to sit and watch them override us? They can't just come from nowhere and overtake everything. What the hell do they think they are? Mother, we're not going to let this slide. We shouldn't. I see. Don't worry. Don't worry, my son. Do you still have the document of the of church? Of course. Good. You will put it up for sale. And let me see who will stop you. I will unseat him and his mother in this palace. They will meet their ancestors very soon. No one crosses my path and leave to tell the tale. I will make them regret ever coming to this palace. No one. No one dares me. Goodness. This is unbelievable. This is embarrassing. Mother, I am so angry right now. I, I, I need money. Gosh, I need money. I need money. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And I tell you, you see that account, you will freeze it today. It's all your money. You must have freeze that account today. You don't block my way. You don't do that. Come you on, don't pass. do that. Come on, pass now, guys. You don't pass. do that. Pass! I will never unfreeze the royal account. You never. We will not hand my father's judgment to anyone here. Alright? You must learn to curtail your expenses. You must learn to curtail your extravagant expenses. Listen, as for the royal account, it is 50% share of our father's income. Nothing more, nothing less. Like you lie. You lie, I tell you. Elders, if you know this man, this imposter, this fool, Tell him to unfreeze the royal account. I need full access to my father's money. My father never restricted me from having access to the money. He has no right to restrict me from having access to my father's money. Warn him I don't want to commit murder. Warn him now. You won't commit any murder. I've done it already. I have freezed the account. If you want to spend big from your own share of the 50%, you can invest. Make big and spend big. If you want to spend big, work for it. Have for now. I would rather die than share 50% of my father's money with my siblings and then you get to manage the million 50%, right? You, it will never happen! Under my dead body, it will happen! Young man, calm down, calm down. I have a, I expect you to gather your younger brothers and think on how to lay his majesty to rest than us coming here every day to hear these ear-biting discussions. Eh? And, Prince Zafa, please, do not in any way again abuse your elder brother. He is our crown prince. Don't insult him for that, please. No, no, wait. No, hold on. We all know that it is four days now that our king, his royal majesty, joined his ancestors. But that is not, not enough reason for Prince Afana to freeze the royal account. Let his siblings and entire household have access to their father's wealth. I am not in support of what he's doing. You can't even go. I can't handle it. You're not a member of this family. You're a member of the cabinet. When it comes to the matters of the kingdom, Akagadia. But as for my father's business, Akagadia. All you know is butekeke. Never, it won't happen again. I have said my word, and it is final. Fifty percent share or nothing. You never have. Edas, you have me. Edas, you've seen it. You've seen him, right? I will but never be alive and watch this imposter take over my father's wealth. Come it will never happen. Come Not in this life. Uh, it will right. never happen. Afanna, we are supposed to have settled this thing <laughs> amicably. Eh? Then after we talk about arrangement for your father's burial. Eh? Then uh, you just jump out like that. Is that how you are going to control this thing? Let's go. Is he right? Hey, that's a reason you could listen to me. We must be very careful concerning our transits. 
this matter. These are still children. And you know that they are still believed. Please, let's be very careful. Let's fight our host. My lord, the man! Okay. 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 A naked wire, but who are you? Who bought you? Call up Prince High Tension. Prince High Tension. Uh -huh. Prince High Tension. Oh, 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 girl. Prince High Tension. I say to God. Prince High Tension. Oh, not fair. Prince High Tension. Clear the way for him. To rule the kingdom by all means. Uh, you know, you know, I'm a very rich man. Okay. And a business minded human. Okay. But the truth is that I really don't like to meddle into religious properties. Okay. Because right I don't now, want troubles. I know, but right now, this is whether religious or not. I'm not a Christian, I'm a businessman. I gave them out to use it for some time, but now I want it back. So it's my problem to look at that place. You see the boundary when you have those bricks all the way, all the way, all the way from there, all the way to this place, they all belong to me. So uh, as soon as you sign the documents and um, you make payment, it belongs to you. Uh, you're just saying it, all this place. You've not said how much you want to sell it. How much? Uh, it's not it? something that we can actually discuss here. Yeah, let's just get to my office or your office, wherever we discuss price. Money won't be the problem. Just understand that from here, that very place, that pole to that pole, they are all my property. Huh? Okay, you know what? Let's meet as you just said. Okay. Here at your office. Or probably we'll meet somewhere else. So we'll have a drink. Do and business. Talk. Business. Nice talking to you. Man. Nice doing business with you. All right, bro. I'll More see. time. All right. Any other property? You sell, right? I will sell. But I want to give you an advice. Get me another property or something else. More, more, more. I am ready to See, buy because I'm then building a very big hotel. Ah, uh, no problem, no problem. I have so many properties. Right. As okay. long as you have your cash, you have my property. Ah, ah, it's not a problem. Okay, a problem. okay. I'll call you. Uh -huh. I cannot accept such dictatorship in the palace. No way. Omeme. That is none of your business. I like the prince. Look, he is pragmatic and rigid. He is fearless before his brothers. Look. Look at this small boy. A little boy demanding for 500 million naira. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. Whereas some of us will die without having up to 10 million naira in our account. This little boy demanding for 500 million naira just to go and bash it in the club with girls. No. And you are here supporting him. You must be an enemy of progress. Look, I like Prince Afana. He will shake them all. They have not seen anything yet. I pity Prince Janike. Prince Afana has a blade of fire that will burn down that Alice. Yes. He has that fire in his eyes that even Prince Jamike can always stand. Yes. The war has just begun. You all are here making noise, making much ado about nothing. Soon, His Majesty's will will be read for everybody to have what belongs to him or her. I know about name. Let the will be read. Yes, let the will be read. Uh -huh. Let us go home. Let's allow the royal home settle themselves of these millions upon millions. Don't give anyone. Let us go. 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 Let us go.
thinking will not solve the problem, babes. Instead, it will get you more angry. I want to get angry. I want to get very, very angry. So that I can deal with that boy very well. Don't preach me, please. Don't advise me. I know you're supposed to be angry. But you see, he's your brother. Your elder brother. Maybe you should go close to him. Form a brotherly relationship. Be his friend. Maybe that can give you the passage you want. Everything must not be achieved through muscle. You can align with him and have a fine dialogue. That is all I am saying. Please. Delight sent you here to come and preach brotherly love to me, right? She sent you here to come and counsel me on how to get into Afana in order to get what is rightfully mine. My father's wealth. My money. Baby, no one sent me here. I came here all by myself. I am your girlfriend. You guys are passing through a perilous time right now. This is not the time to fight. This is the time to get close to your brother and win his heart. Fighting and struggling will amount to nothing. That is all I am saying. Please. Okay, I've heard you. Let me have my drink. Leave it. You can go back to your father's house. Are you asking me out right now, babes? No, wait. Alright, get up. Babes, are you not? You're, you're not serious! Get up. Are you serious right now? What rubbish? What nonsense? I should go and befriend Afana. Align with Afana. Rubbish. Oh my God, what an insult. are you doing here and how many times am I gonna tell you never to show your ugly face around this place how many times you amaze me princess Turugo. I mean I never come to this palace in search of you I am dating your half-brother Prince Izzy Afa in case you are pushing the heat listen to me you ugly looking low cheap prostitute of course I know who you are I didn't ask you for an introduction this is a message for you. Regardless of whatever you think you're doing here or who you think you're coming here to see, the message is never to show your face around this place. And I hope I've spoken in little words because I know you're so daft to understand. And I ask again, what is your problem? You are not Princess Delight. Neither are you his mother. You're not even my fiancé. Why there's so much hate and bitterness at the sight of me around the palace? Why? <laughs> now listen and listen very good, you need to it. I am still the princess here, okay? And I will not stand here and glorify you by trying to have a conversation with you because you're so daft. The next time you show your ugly face around here, I would make sure that the palace guards give you the whip of your life. A whip that will leave you with unforgettable marks. And that's not a threat. What was she doing here? I said, what was she doing here? Who? Who? What do you mean who? Are you serious? You don't know what I'm talking about, right? I'm talking about Angela. I saw her on her way out. I know she was coming from your room. And she slept here, stop. right? Stop. Don't tell me to stop. stop! Stop it! You fucking cheat! Stop! Stop what? Stop it now! Stop what's this nonsense! What is wrong with you? 
Are you mad? Are you sick or something? You're asking me if I'm mad? Yes! She slept in this room, you guys made love? You kissed and cuddled till day you shut rain. off! You fucking asked me to shut up! She's my girlfriend, my lover, my wife to be! Even if she... How dare you, you fucking cheat! Who do you think you're talking to? How dare you glorify her in my presence? Are you mad? Uh, baby, you, you know what? Just, I'm, I'm sorry. Get out. No, no. I'm sorry. Get out of my room. Get, get out of my room. Just calm down. Calm down. Get out of my room now. Get out. Get out! Get out! Prince Jamike, I'm no longer interested in buying the property. What? What do you mean you're no longer interested in buying the property? Why? I thought we already had this business sealed. Huh? What can I do for you to confirm that this property is mine? We've been saying this. Okay, wait, let me show you. Look at this one. This is a letter I wrote to the bishop that I want my property back. And after a series of discussion, he had to allow me to take my property back. This one. All the way from Rome. Appended by the Pope himself. Look at it. This is not my signature. That's the Pope's signature. Look at this one. This is the original land document from Lance. What else do you want me to prove? Uh, what other document do you need for me to prove that this property is legally mine? Prince Jamike, see this document uh, was brought to me this morning by my lawyer. Okay. Regarding the land you claim to be yours. And a letter was written to one prince, Afana George Ezeka. I believe the name is familiar to you. And he replied in a very funny way, asking the bishop to disregard every form of letter coming from you, that you have a mental issue affecting your reasoning. What? Afana said I have mental issues. Afana, he says that I have mental issues. He also said something that dazed me, that baffled me. Saying how can a normal human being want to sell a Catholic church as big as St. John's Cathedral? Simple. It is my property. I can sell it. I'm a pagan. I'm not a Christian. I don't belong to Methodist, Catholic, Pentecostal. I'm a pagan. I do business. I'm a businessman. What are you talking about? I gave that property to the church. I want it back. Here is the original document to that property. What do you want? What else do you want me to prove before you know the, the property is mine? You Please. know what, Prince Jamaica? I'm not interested in buying the land. I am a Christian. I believe in Christianity. Thank you. Get out of my car! All right. Out! Move it! Close the door. Look at this idiot. Look at this idiot. Look at this fool. Look at him. Look at this fool. Oh, because. Afana. Afana. Afana! My orders. Yes. We need to plan. Yes. We need to organize. You know, we need to set up things properly so that each king coming from different kingdom will be well taken care of. Very yes. okay. Dignitaries will come in the mother Yabia hmm? from all parts of the world, mm -hmm. from all parts of the country. I will also have a... Where is that fool? Where is it? Where? Where is it? Where is it? You! You! How dare you? Are you mad? Why will you restrict me from selling my property? You wrote the bishop to restrict me from selling my property. 
Are you mad? What is giving him the audacity? Are you out of your mind? He's not talking to me. My eldest. That is your acclaimed son who killed you for the second time. He's desperate for the throne. And your wealth. He's not talking to me. Write the bishop. Write him now. Tell him to give me my property back. Tell him to give me back my property. What gives you that? Are you mad? Elvis, tell this idiot to write the bishop to give me back my property. Jamie, call him. Uh -huh, my elders, like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by... I! Did you hear this fool? I rudely interrupt you! Can I have my property back? Give me back my property! Tell me why you robbed the bishop to restrict me from selling my property! Are you crazy? Are you stupid? Are you mad? I'm going to make this to this boy. How do I interrupt your elders' meeting? What the are you talking about? I am talking about my multi-millionaire property! You talk of your elders? What elders? What else are you talking about? Write the bishop to give it back. I will do no such thing. You will do no such thing. You do no such thing. Get out from this place. Nonsense. Wait for me. More for you. You do not. Yes, you do nothing. I'll do nothing. Wait for me. Wait for me. Afanna, please. I think you should call up this meeting. Please. I won't do that. He's a little boy. He will do nothing. He can do nothing. Mr. Reed. You call me a little boy. You call me a little boy. You call me a little boy. You call me a boy. Now, will you write the bishop? Tell him to give me back my property. Are you out of your mind? Call the bishop. Tell him to give me back my property. Give it back. Are you going to do that or not? I will do no such thing. You will do no such thing. You will do no such thing. You ask now, now, hey, 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 stupid boy. Hey, yes, you take me up. I'm just stupid boy. I'm not done with you. No, go and sell the church. Let me see. Let me tell me again. Go and sell that church. Let me see. You want to sell the church of God. You want to sell St. John Catholic Church. It's not going to work for you. Nonsense. It was Yambulu Militi Launoka who does that. Who does that? Bow the dash. You want to sell the church of God? Who does that? Nonsense. Nonsense. Hey! 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 Honor has been sitting, sitting here for days, pleading, pleading with you to let me join my ancestors. Please, please let me join my forebears. Let me join them and recline in their bosom. The water inside the calabash cannot be poured out now. As Jamike, we rule the land, which is never predestined to be so. Please, I beg of you. Return to your body now. Return now. That is never too late. Go back. Before they send you to Mother Earth. You want me to return to Jamike? And have him kill me for the third time? No! I cannot! Now look at Honora, look at me. Look at me. Look at my skin. Look at my skin glowing like that of a newborn baby. I am healthy. I love my body. I love my body. Yeah, I cannot go back to that damaged body. 
I speak. I speak. I speak well because I am here. Let me remain here. Onora, let me cross over. Let me remain here, please. I cannot bring down the sacred calabash until you return to your body and allow the gods to summon you at death. Look at them! Look at, look at the despicable things they are doing! Look at what my son and the oaf who thinks she is my my blood. See what they're doing. Look what they're doing! Look at them! Look at them. Honora. Oh, Honora. Oh, Cross over. Let me cross. Let me join my ancestors now, please. Why, you mean, oh, Jomi, is really tormenting your soul? another man. This affair has been going on for many years. That boy is not ready to marry your acclaimed daughter, Turugu. Because you're also attached to your adulterous wife. Princess Turugu, on the other hand, is not ready to let go of Eziafa. Ezeka. Are you aware that your wife, Lola Chalugo, mm. has been having intercourse with your son, Eziafa? Mm. Ah. Ah, you Mary. Oh, Jumi. She's really dealing with my family. Afana is already in a trap. Poor Sue. Well, after the rain comes the shine for him. But let me show you the evil plots of your wife, Lola Chalugo, against your first wife. Not understand the meeting. 
You will watch everything as it unfolds. This is what she will do in time to come. She has plotted evil in the spirit. She will do it in the physical. Her mind is made up to take Ujumwa away. Why are you showing me all this? Why? I have made up my mind to die and never return to that wicked world. I detest my body. I detest my state on earth. I am the Igwe, and I command you, let the water drop. I'm not under your command, Izika. Return to your mother body, or you can continue to waste your time. She will punish me the more. Can't you see? She will inflict pains and anguish on my flesh. Look, I found my first son. He is the reincarnation of my father, Ezeka. As Obi, he is completely fearless. He is bold, he is brave. He will keep the kingdom and please my spirit. Let me join my ancestors, please. I'm done speaking with you. You are free to remain here. The gods have spoken. Go back to your body before it goes down to Mother Earth. Honora, Honora, come back! Come back! Honora! Going on in the palace. See, lightning and thunder with. Is it ordinary thunder? No. Thunder with stretch mark, body order, and mouth order. We kill all of you. After all, you're not useful to counter. Confused people everywhere. Are you referring to us, Ndiche, as vipers? Eh? Huh? <laughs> See, you in particular, you are the worst viper. Mm -mm. You are a viper. What am I talking about? No, you are the chief viper, anaconda, the big anna uncle. Come and swallow me. Let me see. Allow me beat this man. Mazokoro beat who? He's drunk. Please, let's go. Ah, uh, yes, wait. I'm drunk. But I can see clearly the ten of you. Oh, the ten of us. He is hey. really drunk. Let's go. Hey, hey, wait. Wait. If you are not up to ten now, where is Iwe Ezeka? You think he's dead, eh? Oh! <laughs> Iwe Ezeka cannot die. Like that. Do mm -mm. you think he will just die like a fowl meant for sacrifice? Mm -mm. Ha! No! See, Igwe Ezeka is not dead. Mm -mm. <laughs> Why are we here listening to Gunta? Huh? Igwe Ezeka died five days ago and he's here saying nonsense. Please let us go. Move! I am moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. You people will not ask questions every time I'm drunk. Meanwhile, I can see clearly 
than all of you. I am even wiser than all of you. Eh? Ask question, you will not ask. You think the Igwe will just die like that? Look at them. Useless, confused old men. Dirty red cap with ritualist. Is what am I talking about? A cottage uniform. Where was I going to? Was it this way or this way? No, this way is for vipers. Let me go this way. No, they even came from this side. Vipers Road. Let me go back to where I'm going. What? What a word of vipers. Nonsense. Let's I'm drunk. Are you the one carrying me? I came to have a word with you as regards what is going on in the kingdom. I understand perfectly that the elders of this great kingdom are always on the side of justice. My side. Okay, go on. It is time for us to stand up and fight. It is time for us to revolt. Yes! Revolt against the recognition of Prince Afana as the crown prince of this great kingdom. There is only one crown prince. Me. Prince Jamike, we are running so fast. Please hold on. You want me to revolt against the crown prince? <laughs> it appears you've not been paying attention to all I've been saying. The truth is that Prince Afana is doing the right thing. And he will make a good Igwe. Because he just stopped some certain things with immediate effect. I am a man with less words. Action, they say, speak louder than voice. In this time, million naira, I want you and all the elders in this kingdom to be against Prince Afana. I am the only crown prince of this great kingdom. Do I make myself clear? Hmm. I don't need this money. I don't need your money. Go with your money. Yes. You have only two days to think about what I just said. Two days. Prince Jamaica. Mm. Precitation. Precitation. <laughs> Where is your respect? Precitation. Where is the regard? Prince, I tension. You take say you can fight this fight. Prince, I tension. Turugo, what is it? Afana. Don't tell me you meant what you said. What did I say? <laughs> what did you say? Listen. Afana, you cannot crawl out of nowhere and sit at the helm of my father's company. You cannot do that. You've not made any point yet. I need money. Okay, then you sit down, we talk as siblings, not that. I mean, you don't have to be uncivil just because you need money. Please sit.
Can you see it? Fine. Fine. So are you here for your own 50% share? Damn it, Afana. Damn it. That's not good enough. That's an insult. A slap on my face. Don't you dare insult me, okay? Hey, Jurugo, watch it. Here is not a psychiatric home. If you need the medical attention, start it and not shout. All right. Fine. Fine. Better. So, what do you want? Afana, I need 15 million naira only. Mm. That's good. 15 million naira. Mm. What for? <laughs> So I, I have to also explain to you what I want to do with my money. I should tell you how I want to spend my money, right, Afana? Okay, okay, no, no, it's fine. I'm not arguing. It's okay. If you must know, I want to travel with my friends. I want to go hang out with my friends. But most importantly, I want to buy a car for my boyfriend. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you pick up your phone and, and, and call the accountant. Go ahead. Call. Oh, yeah. I see. Well stated. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. I would like to, you know, give you a brief history about you in particular. From what I read on your profile, you were born 4th December 2002. You went to Auckland University. You stayed in Chicago. You graduated with first class business management, second class economics, first class international relations. You also studied international technology and you came out well. Uh, what has that got to do with anything? I find I'm not daft. Okay? I know who I am. You cannot read my own history to me. So you know how you have wasted life, economy, resources, time, energy, virtually everything. Oh yes, you have a beautiful certificate under your palm. But you chose to sit down as a princess and do nothing about it. You are practically doing nothing to project an amazing future for yourself. Damn it, Afana. I am a princess. It is not a yastic. Hey, listen. Uh, Queen Elizabeth has daughters. They are amazing and wonderful as entrepreneurs. They work for themselves. They earn money for themselves. Oh yes, they just get little token from the royal account. Let me advise you. Calm down from that your royal white horse. Step down from that your royal white horse and get yourself a job, all right? When you get yourself a job, you can buy, you can acquire, you can get anything of your choice. You can buy any car for your boyfriend, who cares? You can take your friends to any part of the world, buy them the most expensive wine, who cares about it? As long as you're spending your heart and money, and that's it, that's on period. So, Afana, what are you saying? What is the conclusion? Are you giving me the money? I am giving you nothing. Oh yes, our staff needs to be paid. The only thing I'm giving to you is your 50% mm. annual share. Oh yes, and nothing more. Go to the other office. You see the lights working, working so hard to the growth of this company. Oh, yes! Hey, you don't have two heads. Everybody must walk. So, little sister, dust your beautiful certificates and get yourself a job. Thank you. 
Fana, this is not over. As a matter of fact, this is just getting started. Have a nice day. Shut the door after you. You walk, earn money, and spend it. That's what makes you a big girl. Not squander the fam. I mean, ah, Azupanwazo. Damn it. Can you imagine that all the elders in Umweze have all rejected me? Me! No one rejects me! I am sure Afana must have poisoned him, but I will shock him. I will let him know I have the antidote for his poison. Did you give them something? Of course, mother! Would I have gone there empty handed? I went there with loads of money, but none of them accepted. Which means he has bribed them before I did. I better still I came there. But one thing is certain no human born of a woman can take the throne from me. No one. Relax. Calm down. Relax. Relax. I have a plan. Okay. Firstly, we have to team up with Uma and her family. Team up? Asiafa is also interested in the throne. Oh no. From the look of things, Asiafa does not want the throne. But his mother is keen on getting the throne for him. But listen, they're not a threat. We have to deal with the external intruders and then get rid of Uma and her son too. If that be the plan, then we have got to act fast. Yeah, I will handle it. Just relax. Lastly, we will summon the cabinet and get them on our paths. So don't bother yourself. Trust your mother. Relax. At this time, we must put away our differences and fight our one common enemy. This is not the time to look down on anyone. We have one huge threat at hand. Ujuwa and her son have surfaced from pit of hell with their order, thereby denying us our rights in this palace. We must act fast to push them back to the grave where they belong. She laid her ugly hands on me. How dare she? I will teach her a lesson she will never forget in a hurry. There's a reason I am called High Tension. Prince, High Tension. We just have to join forces, my wonderful people. We just have to, and we have to do it now. We have to act fast. Your Majesties, I am highly disappointed with this visit. I mean from you two. I am grieved in my spirit. You came here to ask me to go against Ujunwa and her son, Afana. Eh? His Majesty is not yet buried. And no one is talking about it now. I don't, I'm not even bothered about it. The primary thing we are supposed to do is to plan and bury the king. Your husband! And not to stand here and begin to fight each other. Oh no. A child does not rest when there's a mountain in front of him. We want Ujumwa and her son to leave the palace. No! We want them dead. Then, count me out. I will not support such evil. I am the custodian of the custom of this land. I cannot support that evil. How dare you? I mean, how dare you, your majesties? 
then you have to go for them. Is that they are not harmful. I mean, they mean well for this royal household. Oh, will you shut up? What do you know? Mother Delight is deluded. Excuse me? Of course, you're delusional. Mother, I actually thought I could blend with him. But after what he did to us, he frees the family's account. And I hate him to the core. I don't ever want to see you around them. Else, I'll strangle you alive. Strangle who? As my father, the king of who? Who are you to tell me what to do and what not to do in my father's palace? Don't try it again. Listen, mother, I still maintain that they are not harmful. They mean well for this royal household. I believe in Prince Afana's policy. You work in the company, get paid, and enjoy your money. Shut up and get out of my sight. Oh, who are you to order me around? Let me tell you, mother, want her. I don't ever want to see her around those people. If you ever... If I ever get to see you around this pool again, I'm going to strangle you myself. I would be the one to strangle. Who are you to strangle? That's what, okay. What, you think I'm your, and your, and your, and your palace maid? How dare you talk to me I like said that? that's enough. Eziafa, let her be. I can see she's not part of this family. Yes, <laughs> I have excommunicated her already. Now listen, son. I don't trust Achalugu nor her son. Mm. They might generalize their evil plan. Therefore, we need to be on guard and still strive our way to the throne. No, I'm not interested in the throne. Can I just have access to the money? Will you shut up your mouth? Don't be a fool. Huh? When you become the ego of this kingdom, you have access to all the wealth. Do you not see the reason I want you to succeed your father? You talk like a fool. Can I just have access to the money? You're all about the money. Money and no work. You're just a lazy fool. Listen, I, I, thank God I'm not part of this evil plan. Excuse me, mother. Mother, she just called me a thing. So, just let her be. Okay? Don't worry. I know how to deal with her. to me <laughs> I know I contributed in killing his majesty but I was misled <laughs> I never knew my service would result to this gods of our land <laughs> please forgive me forgive me
I have been throwing up since morning. The gods wants to punish me for my evil deed. Oh, I am no longer in my pride. Up till this very moment, Princess Turugo have not done anything about the card that raped me. <laughs> no evil visits me as she normally do. <sighs> Could that read something on my head? No, I don't know for how. Hmm? She says she's not hungry. Am I supposed to force her? She's matured now. Eh? Hmm. I don't know. Papa. Mama, papa. I adore her. Why are you not eating with us? What happened? Papa, I had a dream this morning. Eh? A dream? Dream, Mokwa. What about the dream? The boat Lolo of Igwezika came to meet with you regarding the presence of Queen Ujunwa and her son Afana, the Crown Prince. Mm -hmm. What happened? What happened? Papa, mm -hmm. they wanted you to deny them as part of Igwe Ezika's family. May the gods forbid. That was exactly what he said to them. He strongly refused and then Queen Uma pulled out a gun and shot at you. Oh well, I shot at my own husband. Oman Renata. It's will not Oman Renata. In fact, fly back to Senda. Let it go back to them. Shot my own nine. Eh? In Anokwa. What kind of expensive dream is this? Eh? Nine. Nega. The dream is, is very, very expensive. Ooh. Ha, Nega. Will you dance to their tune? She has just shot herself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she just succeeded in shooting herself. Bagam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As we are talking now, there is serious war, real war in the palace. Yes. Now as we are talking. How can I support such conspiracy, such evil? Oh. I will not support it. I know now. I, I am the only one who, who and I must stand by the truth. Yes. I must maintain the sacred sanctity of this kingdom and make sure that my office do not leak in any way at all. Yeah. I will support them. Good. I will support them. No wonder the gods revealed this to my daughter. Yes, so hard to be ready for them. I will be ready for them. Yes, and I. Do not panic. Yes. No, I support you. The gods will fight for me. Yes. They will vindicate me. Mm. But I am afraid though. Eh? You have to be very, very careful, no man. Look at me now. It's too, it's too, in fact, I don't want to be a widow at this age. Be very, very careful. Ego deal. Be very careful. I will, my wife. I will, my wife. I will. Mm -hmm. Be rest assured, I will. Papa, mm -hmm. Mama is right. You have to be very careful. Mm -hmm. Those women can be very deadly. Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. My daughter. Just place a show. Hmm? If you are a bouncer or a gando, eh? Get out of the way. Now, every time you are standing with knife, you are not a bush cutter, you are not a grass cutter. What are you cutting? Eh? I said, ah, get out of here. What? See? No. Very good. Very good. They break. I'm angry. What's going on here? I, my priest and my future Igwe, I'm very angry. Eh? See, I came to show you something. But you need to remove this your eyeglass so that you can use your eye to see it direct. Remove your eyeglass. 
Okonta, can you show me what you want to show me and stop being Very dramatic? good. Okay, see. See. Oh my God. See! I, are you seeing it? Or you have removed your glasses? Who did this to you? Oh! That useless boy that does not know his father did this to me yesterday. Jamike! Mm, what am I talking about? Jamike! Jamike! Killed me yesterday. Eh? That boy, oh, it's just that he sent me to go and meet my ancestors. Just that I was not with my pan wife, they asked me to go back. Hmm? What did you do to him? What happened? Ah, simple. I told him the bitter truth. Very bitter, like Onubu. In fact, like all these bitters. Yes. I told him his mother is a prostitute. Oh, no, you don't see. Mm. Ahuna, ahuna. Don't, don't tell me no. Eh? See, you say the truth, you die. You don't say the truth, you die. Me, Okonta, I will always say the truth. Eh? See, let me tell you. You don't know anything about this uh, Lolo Achalugo. Eh? All her secret is in my palm. Yes! She's a prostitute! See, in fact, if you wire, hmm? Pia! Free to air! Uh, 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 um, Okunta, mm -hmm. enough. enough. You went too far. I am not supporting you, neither am I supporting Jamike for what he did to you. Um, all I have to tell you now is just forgive and forget. Eh! Ta! See? in this palace that to forgive that useless boy and the mother. See, my prince, let me tell you, eh? they flog the hell. No, not hell. They flog demons out of my body. See, my prince, they ordered the guards to flog me. I was screaming. <coughs> I was shouting. I was, in fact, I was even weeping like a child. This idiot, they continue flogging me. Eh? See, you don't know these people. You don't know them. Uh, 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 um, Okunta, mm -hmm. it's all right. I'm sorry for what happened, okay? But I think you should just... Um... Okay. Um... Have this token, okay? <laughs> From here, you can get some treatment. Ooh, you're a good man. See? In fact, the way you are doing this. <laughs> hey! See, now I even feel like they should be flogging me every week. <laughs> hey! See, you're a good man. My prince, you're a good man. That's why you have to be very careful of these demons. They want to kill you. Yes, they want to kill you. But their plans will not work. Eh? See? When am I going to get my Panwai allowance? Okunta. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> my prince, my prince. I am on my way to work. Mm. Come back tomorrow, right? But then, stop cursing at mothers and other people to mm. avoid same treatment next time. No problem. It's because of you. See, you know you, your father, the Igwe, pay me Panwai allowance. That is why he cannot die now. Yes! See, let me tell you. Igwe is sleeping, but you will not understand. Because you will not understand the kind of sleep. It is majestically sleeping. Uh, we'll come to eh? see you later, right? You see? If you have good character, I would have given you something. And this is bigger than your salary. You are doing a leave. We mew, you remain there. We mew. Hey! We mew. Look at this one. Another standing ovation. We mew. <laughs> hey! oh! My elders, I gathered you all here today so that we can have a concrete decision on what to do to Afana and his mother. Afana and his mother left my father when he needed them the most. When he was sick, in his days of agony, 
They were supposed to be there for him. But no, they eloped. And just when my father joined his ancestors, they sprung up from the slums where they belong, only to lay claims to reap where they did not sow. My others, I, Prince Jamike Haitage, I decree that they be banished from his Yamuku kingdom. I have spoken. If you have anything else to say, I'm listening. Jamike, things are not done that way. As a rebel, tell me, how are things done? I am the only one of this kingdom. It is wrong for you to pass such a decree. While I'm here, let me quickly remind you, Ezeribe, you are an Unowu to a king that is no more, which means your office is no longer functional. Oh, you're not aware. Let me also quickly remind you that the king, your father, is not yet buried. Therefore, I still remain the Onowu of Asia Muku Kingdom. Onowu, we do respect. Prince Afana is not in control of anything in this kingdom. We give him three days to unfreeze the royal account. As we will take this matter very seriously. I mean every word of it. Ichia, thank you so much for your words. Oh no. Afana and his mother came out of the blue. They disregarded us. We've lived in this palace all our lives. We served this community. We served each and every one of you and your families. Our mothers looked after the king till his death. Yet he had the God to freeze the royal family's account. For that reason, I stand with my brother Prince Jamike, the rightful heir to the throne, on his decree that Afana and his mother be banished from this kingdom. And that is final. I have no issues with you. Okoro, let me warn you. In a meeting like this, if you don't have any reasonable thing to say, just sit down and keep quiet. But I stated the first. You don't have to break protocols. I am the owner of this great kingdom, Ezamuku. And I'm here. Um, Prince Ezafa, I've also had your submission. Let me bring to your knowledge. It is now seven days. That is one week. Our king, Igwe Ezeka of Ezamuku kingdom, joined his ancestors. What we're supposed to be talking about now is how to give him a befitting barrier according to tradition. And not who to banish and who not to banish. Who are you talking about? Afana, the first son of the king. And his mother, the first wife of the king. Where is it done? In fact, I do not support this. I must not support that proposal. And because of this, as the only one of Eziabuku, I can no longer stay in this meeting. I am going. Elders. Oh, no, Afana is an illegitimate son. He's not my brother. As you can see, your Nohu seat is vacant. Think about it. Office! 
successful. Yes, this is the man I've been telling you about. This imposter, this fraudster. Arrest him. I said arrest him. Johnny K. Point of correction. Prince Hydration. You hear me? In fact, officers, this man is also an imposter. He's parading himself as the know. Look at me. I am the king. And I haven't appointed my know yet. That makes him another imposter. Officers, what are you waiting for? Arrest him! Give me one second. Do criminals get one second? Is that what happens when the police help? Prisoner! Hello, imposter, one second. I am fine. I am fine. Um, um, please, a quick one. Uh, one hoodlum is here with some he, of your book. He calls me a hoodlum. He calls me a hoodlum. Arrest him! Oh, yeah, he's the one making noise. He's trying to obstruct the meeting I'm having with your no here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yes, they're here. They're here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Who's going to take this call? You think it's a big commissioner? No, uh, sir. I'm very sorry, sir. Okay, sir. What do you mean, sorry, sir? What do you mean, sorry, sir? What do you mean, sorry, sir? Arrest this idiot! Are you saying sorry, sir? Is that why I brought you here? Yeah, sorry! Hey, you! You! What stupid job! One phone call, seven, sir! An imposter! One phone call! Yes, sir! Yes. Seven, sir! And you! You haven't had the last of me yet! You think you know people? Small connection, commissioner! I am a fire you cannot quench! Hello, commissioner! You think you are the only one who knows, commissioner? Do not worry! I will tell you that priest, high tension will shock you! High tension! We shock you! So don't worry! You! You haven't heard the last of me yet! Wait for me! Okay, then. I don't know. What is happening here? Eh? Is Charlie coming here with my hand? Is your brother holding my hand? My queen, I am suddenly behind you. You see, Prince Afana and his mother will never ascend the high rank of this palace. No! We must eject them from this palace. Right now, my son is taking care of it. Prince Afana is cooling off in the police net. And from there, we will pay them to waste him. Ujuma is not a threat. We will deal with her. Right? Of course. Good. She is nothing but a walking cops in this palace. They will leave this palace. In fact, they must leave. They are not welcome in this land. The only recognized prince of this land is Prince Jamaica. Any other one is counterfeit. Nonsense. I want you to stand your ground. Yes. And then convince the other elders to join in this struggle. Here's a two million naira check for you. Yes. And more money is coming your way. Exactly. <laughs> two million for me. Nonsense! 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 Can you imagine? Can you imagine this lazy boy, Afana? What? He's trying to show me he has connections, but I will let him know one thing. Prince Jamike, high tension, is the king of connections. Nonsense! 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 Naked wire, but who are you? Who bought you? Call up Prince High Tension. Prince High Tension. Uh -huh. Prince High Tension. Oh, 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 girl. Prince High Tension. I say it again. Prince High Tension. Another. Prince High Tension. Kibuko, you're so sweet. Baby, you are sweeter. I enjoy every moment with you. You know, this is the reason I am not contemplating getting married soon. I mean, I cannot afford to miss out on this. I can't. But you know this won't last forever. No, don't say that. Izzy, this will last forever. You can't tell me otherwise. Goodness, I hate to see that girl Angela around you. I really do hate her. I hate everything she represents. All the time I see her, I just feel like killing her. I just feel like sniffing the life out of her. Come on. You know she's my woman. 
She's a woman. What about me? What does that make me? You're my stepsister, of course. Mm, really? I'm your stepsister. I'm your stepsister like this. Mom said you should. Is he ever? What are you doing with your sister, your stepsister Turugo? with your stepsister. Turugo. in the mud, sleeping with your own blood brother. Ah, oh, I see. That's why I've been posting your engagement party with Okadike. That's why you have refused to marry him, because you are sleeping with your own step brother. How could you? Why have you allowed the devil to use you like this? Why are you so shameless? How? Huh? What are you going to teach your children when you eventually get married? Because I know they are definitely not going to marry my own brother. So are you going to tell your unborn children to engage in incest? Is that what you're going to tell them? Answer me, you fool! Delight, I'm going to help you. I'm going to tell my unborn children that I, Turugo, their mother, enjoyed life to the fullest. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell them that my youthful age was never a waste because I enjoyed every bit of it with whomever I chose to enjoy life with. Alright? I know that you are thinking that by now I should be somewhere hiding in my room or being too scared to come out because you caught me. <laughs> but newsflash girl, I don't really care. All right? It doesn't matter whether you know or everyone in this palace knows about it. It means nothing to me. Mm. Not even you nor anyone can stand between me and what makes me happy. All right? Copy that. Excuse me. I am not done with you. <laughs> You're taking a piece now. Listen. Very well then. I am going to report this your ungodly act to your mother and to every member of the royal household. You disgust me, Turugo. You stink. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so scared right now. Delight, delight the reporter. Hmm? 
the light radio and TV station. I'm going to help you real quick. If you want to disseminate this information real fast, you know what you're going to do? Take this for me and take it for free. Go and get the town crier involved. Tell him to help you sound his gong. No, no, no. Tell him. Tell him to help you disseminate this information through the seven communities that make up this kingdom. Tell him to announce it real fast that I, Turugo, is sleeping with her brother. I don't really care. Like I said to you earlier, I'm going to repeat it for the last time. And that's if only your little brain will assimilate it. I do not care whether you know or everyone knows. Now, out of my way, please. All right? Excuse you go me. go nowhere until I am done talking. Stand <laughs> right there. I see. I look at you. I laugh because, like I said before, you have allowed the devil to use you. It's a pity. Huh. You and Eziafa should continue to wreak more havoc on this kingdom. I tell you what. Mm -hmm. Both of you will live to regret it. Ow. Now, excuse me. It's okay. That is my business and not yours. Why are you so worried? I mean, why does this even concern you? Oh my God. Excuse me, please. My way. You are one of the opinion leaders in this great kingdom. I have watched you closely, and you have not been in a failed league. So calm and gentle. Thank you, my queen. What do you want me to do for you? Hmm. I want my son to be the next Igwe of this kingdom. But my queen, Prince Eziafa is the least among the princes. How can it be possible? That is why I chose you for this great task. Do not disappoint me. My queen, I am certain that Prince Jamike and his mother will not be a threat to us. But how do we handle Queen Ujumwa and her son? Battle the dreaded ones, not the one you already know their steps. As for Ujumwa and her son, <laughs> Leave them for me. I will handle them personally. I will think about it, then get back to you. It's your Kunku. Be fast about it. We have limited time.
You're hot. Your eye looks so gloomy. I think you're having malaria. Yes. Later we'll go and get you some herbs, okay? So sorry, eh? Alright, Mama. Sorry, woman. Right. Hmm. Adora, have you seen your period this month? Are you sure? Yes, Mama. You are sure that you've seen your period this month? Yes, Mama. Why are you asking? Oh, that I care. You know I'm your mother. So I care so much. Eh? No problem. I'm going inside. Ah. Okay. I want you to remember that's bad at you do. It's like a flat day. If you don't fix it, you are going to be. You are going to I was on my way to your house. Thank you. I think I'm pregnant. God forbid. <laughs> Adam Miri. How? <laughs> Is it spirit or physical? How? It's a long story. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Can you accompany me to Nurse Nemiri's shop so I can confirm it? I'm confused. Please. <laughs> Wait. How did you know that you're pregnant? My mother saw me vomiting this morning and then she asked if I've seen my period. So I decode what the question means. And what will happen if I tell her the truth? In Kiruzo, I lied to my mother and I've seen my period. But honestly, I've not seen my period. My period didn't go last month. Is it beneath you? Ha! And that you are pregnant. How can your mother say that she doesn't know ah. you are pregnant? Jimo, Mikiruka, please help me. Ada, you are supposed to be a virgin. Wait. A week and two days ago, our Igwe died. Ada, you had sex while performing the ritual, right? It's not what you think, no. Ada, why? Please, Nikuruka, help me. Don't touch me. Nikuruka, you're my friend. What do we do? Please help me. Did you just say what do we do? It's what will you do? Who is responsible for the pregnancy? Nikuruka, please don't ask me that question. Please, I beg you. And you want me to help you, but you will not tell me the person that is responsible, right? Nikuruka. Don't touch me. I swear to you, I don't know. I don't know. Please help me. My mother will kill me. I'm feeling. On no account would you tell me you don't know. Are you a baby? How can you be pregnant and you don't know the person that is responsible? Is it possible? Thank you. you know this is bad. I'm coming. Where just, are you going just to? Just wait for me. Hi. Ada. Adora, pregnant. Daughter of Onowu. Hi. So my friend killed the Igwe. Yes, she killed the Igwe. So, Ada has been having sex while fetching the sacred river for his majesty. But Ada, why now? This is abomination, God. Ah, this is disgusting, I hate you.
I was told you wanted to see me. Is anything the matter? You, you're pregnant. <clears throat> so, um, so what about it? What do you want me to do if you're pregnant? You want me to jump to the moon because you're pregnant? My princess, you know I was a virgin. And none of your guard deflowered me in your room with all my knowledge. I was raped in your room. And you never did anything to figure out the culprit, not until now. <laughs> Look, your job here is over. I mean, over. I don't care if you're pregnant or not. I am not interested. <laughs> your pregnancy means absolutely nothing to me. Wait a minute. I thought you were supposed to be, um, Adam Miri, the most holy virgin that fetches water for the king to take his bath. <laughs> what happened to you, girl? Look at you. Just take a look at yourself. See how cheap, low, and gullible you are. So stupid. Goodness. So what were you thinking? No, no, tell me. What, what were you thinking? All those times I was being kind, nice, showering you with gifts, I mean expensive gifts and presents. <laughs> what did you think about that? That I, the princess, would stoop so low to have something to do with you. The daughter of a common beggar. Oh my goodness, you're so stupid. Ah! So my princess, <laughs> it was only set up. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, you're so daft. You also want me to spell that out for you. You want me to open your eyes? <laughs> Listen! You had sex. You got drunk. Had sex and got pregnant. And you still went ahead to perform the spiritual bath. <laughs> Do not <laughs> listen to me. Do not in any way get me involved in your mess. Because if you do, I will not fail to tell the entire villagers that you killed my father. My princess! Mm -hmm. You did, didn't you? My princess, you know it was never consensual. You deceived me by telling me to continue with my duty. That nothing is going to happen to the king, your father. I deceived you. Oh, I know that you wanted your father to die. You used me to achieve your goals. I will never forgive you. I will never forgive you, my princess. Oh, no, please just shut up and listen to me for the last time, okay? That you decided to be pregnant, that you decided to be stupid and used. It is totally on you and not on me. That is your responsibility, not mine, okay? For the last time, do not get me involved in this mess. Because if you do, <laughs> do not. Okay? Do not. My princess! My princess! My princess! into this world. 
I am feeling. Ah. No. No. She used me. The princess used me. She used me. I'm oh. finished. How is this possible? You surprised? to push him and then the bullet hit his mother. Oh my God. Are you serious? Yes. Jamiki tried to kill her father. He tried to kill her father. And then I pushed him and the bullet hit his mother, Lola Chalugo. Jamiki wanted to kill all of us. He wants to be king by all means. This is serious. Baby, you see why I keep telling you to make peace with Afana? He's not the one with the evil intention. Strive to make peace with him, please. Yes, yes, Jamiki, Jamiki, Jamiki is the evil one. It's okay. He wanted to kill us. It's okay. You're panting. It's okay. He would have killed me too. It's okay. He would have, he would have killed me. It's okay.
Hello. Yes, this is Prince Afan Nezeka. What? My mother? What happened? Which hospital? Okay, okay, I, I, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. But, uh, um, please, please, just, just do the needful immediately. Do the needful. I will be right there. Please, yes. Doctor, how serious is the accident? Good. Very good. No, 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 doctor. I don't want any 50-50% chance right now. I don't want that. Who are you people? Oh, God, shut up! Shut up, dear. I'll blow off your score. Surprised. What's the meaning of this? What is the meaning of what? Huh? What is the meaning of this? I warned you. Heaven bear me witness. I want you and your mother to stay off. Stay away from my business. Keep off. But you took my simplicity. Gentility for stupidity. Now look at how stupid you are. Look at where your stupidity has landed you. I warn you. What happens to one who touches the tail of a tiger? He dies. You are going to die. <laughs> What do you want exactly? You ask me what do I want? You have nothing to give to me now. But I have everything to give to you. Boys! Yes, boss. boss. Declare his mouth open. Jamike. Jamike. Open it. Jamike. Open it. Open, no. open this mouth. Jamike! Uh, what do you want to do? <laughs> what I want <laughs> to do. <laughs> do you know what they call this? Juicy, juicy. What did I say? <laughs> juicy, juicy. <laughs> this, it will make your death fast. Sweet. Smooth, smooth. <laughs> Breaking news. I killed our father because I have always wanted to sit on that throne. Now you can see how desperate I am. Then you came into the picture, flaunting weights without asking questions. Look at where all your weights have landed here. <laughs> Today, you are going to join your ancestors. But do me one favor. Mariga Stigwezeka II of Iziyama Kingdom. Say hi to him on my behalf. Now, boys, Open his mouth! No, no, no! no.
Almighty Crown Prince Afana. I'm so emotional right now. I just killed my brother. Farewell. Favorite. Farewell. Crown Prince Afana. Farewell. Commissioner's friend. Farewell. My beloved brother. I'm so emotional right now. I'm so I'm so I'm so emotional right now. Who is the king of the jungle? Boys, yes, boss. Yes, boss. throw him where even the spirits will not find him. Have I made myself clear? Yes, boss. Farewell, brother. Farewell. How about the maidens? It wasn't my fault. Oh, they chose their parts on her course. It's not my fault anyways. Okay, but you know what, doctor? I want her dead. Not the maidens. To anything. Inject her with anything. To what you know how to do best. They made me tonight for your money. Good. Okay, bye. <laughs> Mother. He What's the goodness? Me. He called me. Jamika just called me. Okay. Guess what? Tell me, tell me. What's it? Tell me the good news. Afana is dead. How? <gasps> he said he watched him die slowly. Mother, as we speak, he is dead. Oh my god, this is the best news I've ever heard. I am so happy. This calls for celebration. Of course. Of course. It calls for celebration, mother. Mother, what? take it. <laughs> mother, guess what? 50% is dead. I mean. 50%. No more, no less. A fan has spoken. Now he can go to hell and brag with the devil. Mm -hmm. No one, T.S. a chaluko. No, I won't take it. I won't take it. How can Her Majesty be involved in the father accident? And Prince Afan is nowhere to be found. I've tried calling him. He's not picking his calls. He's not even in the hospital, neither is he anywhere. To My be found elders, these demons should be held responsible if anything happens to Prince Afana. Provide him, else there will be real war in this palace. I'm going to unleash the tigress in me. The other side of delight that you have not seen before, and believe me, it will not be delightful. You shut up your mouth. Oh, don't tell me to shut up. Are you mad? You are the one that is mad. Are you mad? You are the one that is mad. Are you mad? You are mad. Come you are mad. Come you are mad. Provide him for now. Provide him. Is it because I've been keeping quiet? Sit down, my dear. The princess, don't just sit you. down. You! I said sit down. We don't your tigers. <laughs> my darling, sit down. Uh, All right. Okay. Please, my daughter. Sit down. Please, sit down. My elders. My sister is right. If I do not see the crown prince of this kingdom in the next 72 hours, I will burn down this palace. And I mean it. Eziafa, how dare you? Madam, don't play in games. 
These people are trying really hard to play with our intelligence. For your information, I'm not interested in the throne. I've said it times with that number. If I do not hear from Afana, nor see him, nobody, no mortal of a human will sit on this throne. And that is fine now. Little boys and diapers. Now you see or know not everyone is qualified to be in the throne room. Like this one. Hmm? Why are we bogging ourselves about Afana and his mother's disappearance? These people vanish all the time. They've disappeared before, they disappeared now. So as a tendency does to disappear tomorrow, it is in their nature to disappear. Can we talk about something more important like me ascending the throne of Yamuku Kingdom? It's very obvious that something is absolutely wrong here. But notwithstanding, I will give my full support to Prince Eziafa. Our crown prince must be provided X, there will be nothing like coronation or burial in this palace. Oh no. Come on, get out of this place. Look at this one. Because they call it little material for you to sew. Uh, come on. Get out. 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 Look at him. Oh no, who gave this man the material to sew elders and cancel uniform? Who gave him the material? You? Don't you people scream? Oh my father, my father, my father. You just see people on the road and you make them elders in cancel. Out! Like I said earlier, Ron. Prince Jamiki. I tension. I don't know why I have to always remind you. High tension. Where is your brother? Where is Afana? I'm so emotional right now. Mother, where is Afana? How am I supposed to know where Afana is? Huh? Am I his keeper? Am I his watchdog? Oh no, why are we still bogging our heads over Afana's disappearance? Like I said earlier on, these people are used to disappearing. It runs in their blood. It's their nature to disappear. Can you swear by Awonfo that you have no hand in the sudden disappearance of Prince Afana? Oh no, my son will not swear to any of you. And you will not threaten him to do that. Then let him provide our crown prince. Yes. As a river, there is only one crown prince. Me. Secondly, I know nothing about the disappearance of Afana. The only thing that concerns me is the throne of his Yamuku kingdom. Okwe Begonu, I will now go and come back with another friend. But I'll give you time. Think! Yes. Hmm? Bring it, let him swear. He must swear. Bring your phone. No. Bring your phone. He must swear. You must swear to your innocence. Or you provide Afana. You must swear. I can see that you have imposed so much guts on your children. I will deal with them if they distort the peace in this palace. You will not. Achaligo, you will do nothing. You see that boy? He is going to be the next Igwe of this kingdom. Whether you like it or not, whether he likes it or not, he's going to sit on the throne. <laughs> I see this coming. But we shall see together. We shall see nothing. Okay. Let's watch. <laughs> A dog that bites. How dare you? Eziafa, how dare you speak nonsense from your mouth? Eh? Do you want to disgrace me? Do you want them to win? We're in battle in this palace, and I will not be the loser. Do you understand me? No, mother, no! I've told you, we're not in battle in this palace. There is no war. I told you about the bad dreams I had yesterday. And today, Prince Afana is nowhere to be found. His car was still on the roadside. Probably must have been attacked by unknown men. And you want me to be quiet and fight? Fight for God knows what I'm not even interested in. There's no way I'm fighting, man. I'm not fighting for your cause. Afana, 
his mother. Whatever it is that is surrounding their predicament is none of my freaking business. We're going to concentrate on Achalugo and her son. Mother! Oh, will you shut up? I am talking to myself. Mother, I've said this and this is final. Jamaica must provide a fan now. If Jamaica does not provide a fan now in this palace, there will be war. There will be war in this palace. You will not jeopardize our mission. Therefore, whether you like it or not, you are going to sit on that throne. And that is final. Nonsense. I'm with you on this one. I will fight with you. Okay? We have to put a stop to this unnecessary show of power and superiority. Hmm? you never to show your ugly looking face ever in this palace again, didn't I? For the love of God, who the hell do you think you are to tell me not to come into this palace? Who? Who the hell do I think I am? Angela, <laughs> tread with caution. You don't know me. You do not know what I am capable of. Now without wasting time, at a count of three, I want you to pick your ugly, dirty looking self out of this room. Now, one, two, babe. What is going on? No, what is going on? I do not understand and it's getting me mad. I cannot wrap more than why she keeps getting pissed each time she sees me around you or in this palace. Why? Tulugo, whatever has a beginning must have an end. This is the end of this rubbish. Now get out of my room. Are you mad? Ezefa, are you sick in the head? Would you think you're talking to in that tone? Me? Like seriously? <laughs> you think you can dump me? <laughs> like a piece of cabbage? What? <laughs> Wait. Did you just say dump? Babe. No, no. Wait. I... I... I do not want to believe this. It's not true. Are you... No, no. No, 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 I, I, I don't want to believe this. I, I cannot believe. Can someone explain to me what is going on here? Get out of my room! Now! Get out! I'm going nowhere, Zafa! Who do you think you are to order me around? Are you, are you serious? <laughs> I am never going to leave without a fight. She cannot take you away from me. Copy that. Babe, is she not your stepsister again? Babe, don't listen to her. She's possessed. She has evil spirits talking inside of her. She has legion of demons in her. Don't ever listen to whatever she has to say. She's here to cause commotion. She's here to destroy what we what have together. Please, babe, don't. Did I just hear you say that I have demons living inside of me? I have legions of demons. <laughs> living inside of me. Eziafa, really? You're such a joke. When you were sleeping with me all day and all night, spreading my legs open like chicken, I wasn't a demon. Now I am a demon, isn't it? I'm going to show you what demons do. Jesus! Are you crazy, man? Are you crazy? stupid? What is wrong with you? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Stop it! You silly thing! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I... Baby, 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 please. Stop it! Are you stupid? So this is what you do in the palace? Sleeping with your stepsister? This is evil! It's barbaric! This is incest! I regret ever knowing a monster like you. Bastard. Come on, I don't believe 
big, big. Threatened my son. You threw the balls overnight? Or were you on drugs when you said those things to him? You know what? I wish the grand could just open and swallow you and your evil children. You know what? Jamie don't provide that and I would have likes to not. Else I will make him rest in peace. How dare you? How dare you too? Are you not? You raised your hands on me. You lost my respect the day you lured me to bed. You shameless whore. You disgraced your motherhood. Now get out of my room before I do something regrettable to your skin. Get out! You will hear from me. Fool! What rubbish! I 
ಅದನ್ನು ನನ್ನ to see your father, his majesty, my bosom friend. Where am I? Where is this place? You are on the path to death. You are heading home to rest forever. But we can't let you. It is not yet your time. Take this. Drink it. I am here to tell you to go back to your body. Yes. Go back and put things right. You have seen it all. Go back home and put your family in order. 
and wait for the final death. When the Lord will call you, that is the final one, not this one. I'll be happy to see you then. Farewell, my friend. the gift Princess Turugo gave to you. I believe the reason she gave you this thing they are not cleared to you. I don't have one. I've forgiven you. If what Princess Turugo said about you were true, let your soul rest in peace. But okay. <laughs> Adora, if what she said we are not true, I'm using this gift she gifted you as a point of contact between you and her to seek for vengeance Adora 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 look at me you left your father and I in this world alone. Adora, what do you want me to do? We can't even bear children anymore. Hey! Adora, Wabi! Adora, Wabu! Adora, Wabu! Adora, Wabu! Adora, Wabu! You have to rise and go for your sin, for your revenge. <laughs> go for your revenge, Adora! Adora, please avenge for your death. <laughs> hey, Wuchibo! 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 Hey, Adora, 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 Ah. Here, this is my life savings. I trust you to the point of giving them all to you. Go and invest with it. Oh my God. Baby, thank you. I'm so happy. Now listen, baby. I promise you, once this contract clicks, we will take a good time and travel to Dubai and have some fun, baby. Really? Come on. <laughs> thank 
Thank you. Okay. Oh my God. So baby, you know what? I have to keep this first. Okay. Baby, I promise you, I'm gonna invest wisely. I trust you. It's okay. Come on. <laughs> it's all right. So baby, now before I go meet my fiance to go, I would want us to. Ah, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not in the mood, please. Oh, come on, baby. No, what's that? You're not in the mood. Please, please, please. I beg you, please. Okay, please. Just try. Let's oh. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. What? Business. Yeah, business. Actually, we're talking business. Mother! You were discussing business with my boyfriend in your bedroom! With you wearing your nighties! Mother, what sort of business is that? Just please. How long has this been going on? For how long now? How long has this been going on? I'm asking you! Stop shouting. Tell me not to shout. Don't! How long have you been sleeping with me and my mother? Under the same roof! Stop shouting! You son of a bitch! Answer me! Hi, hey! How long have you been doing this? So if I answer you, will you tell me how long you've been sleeping with your stepbrother? What? Please, please, yeah, please. No. Please tell me. No, me you think I don't know? Why you've been fighting his girlfriend? Shh. Angela. You're worse than I thought. You better clean that stack in your eyes before you judge me. Can I come? You son of a bitch. Let it be. You're a fool. Bastard, that's what you are. Good for nothing, idiot. Oh my god. No, this is not happening. Somebody wake me up. Oh my goodness. Mother. Shut up! If I were you, I will leave this room this moment. Go to my room. Hide myself in shame. Gosh! Huh? What are you shameless? You're shameless. You're so shameless, mother. How could you do this to me? Oh, really? Yes! Shameless? Yes! Look at pot calling kettle black. Look at you. You're shameless, mother. Get out of my you're room! Shameless. Get out! You're so shameless. I can't even believe you. Oh my god! Stop it! Get the boy out black. Nonsense. I'll kill this boy. I'll kill him. I'll kill my parents. Mama is okay. Eh? Stop crying. I know it's painful, but you have to stop crying. And eh, Papa, please take heart. Eh? Take heart. God's no best. We can't question God. Please. Mama, I'm no people. Stop crying. If not, you will get sick. You will get sick if you continue like this. Please stop crying. Please, you have to take heart. You have to console yourself. Eh? Hey. Papa Biko, take heart. <clears throat> Please stop crying. Please. Girls of our land. They are finally killed us. Look at them! Finally! They have killed their daughter. I said they have finally have killed her. Going, eh? They have finally finished her. Yes, yeah. What happened? Am I the one chasing you? Or you're part of the killers? Two people have finally killed her. I don't need you to tell me to sit down because there is cheer. Eh? I warned you. Mm -mm. I warned you, but you will not listen. Eh? Because Okonta is a drug. Eh? Oh! Mm. You call yourself or no? You. You're too blind to be our oh no. See, let me tell you. Once I leave here now, I'll revolt for them to remove you. Yes! Oh! Adoma! Pretend! 
filthy, innocent, naive girl. Ow! Akukuibo. Mm -mm. What am I talking about? Local foul. Very sweet. See, anywhere you are, fight against your parents. See, anywhere you are, if you can fight Kung Fu, put Hacha and put Snake and in the monkey shadow. Finish your parents. Because I told them and they did not listen to me. Now, you have come to zero level. <laughs> because you have lost the only thing the gods gave to you. Fools! Rubbish! What am I even talking about? What are you talking about? Not See? Oh no! Don't talk to me, oh! Because I think what am I talking about? See, oh no! Let me tell you. Oh no! In your next word, you will listen to my advice. Yes, because you see me. We speak direct from the message of the gods. Especially, <coughs> Kai, when I'm drinking my palm wine, <laughs> the message will be coming. Viao, boom, viao. Eh? See, where is the crown prince now? Eh? <laughs> you thought they've succeeded? Eh? Useless, hopeless, idiotic, and inconsequential. Oh no! Uh, what am I talking about? I don't even know the meaning. Uh, but I heard it from the crown prince. Eh? Inconsequential. Oh no! Yes, that is what you are. Part two of this war is coming. No need for knife or god. In fact, no need for um, um gun no men, gun men no gun. That India na bwe No need for India na bwe See, the part two of this war is a shocker. No, it's not, what am I talking about? It's a shocky. Look at them. Family of killers. Inconsequential or oh no? No, no. I need to put your family in the English. Inconsequential family of oh no. Killers. What am I even talking about? Nonsense. Useless parents. Killer family. You people have killed her finally. And she killed herself too. Inconsequential. Oh no. No, sorry. Inconsequential. Oh no, who family? Because I need to put your family in that big English, even when I don't know the meaning. Rubbish! Nonsense. You people are crying after killing her. Rubbish! We are the same now. <coughs> we knew. We knew. So you're sleeping with my daughter Turugo. Your supposed stepsister. You had an affair with me and my daughter in this palace. You're a disgrace to men. You baffle me. You have the right. The courts. The audacity. The effrontery to walk into my room. Looking me straight in the eyes to ask me such rubbish question. You, you that is sleeping with your supposed in-law, have you no shame? 
You that is sleeping with almost all the men in this town. You think I don't know? You did the right thing by not doing that. I will never forgive you. Get out of my room. Get out! You will regret this. Useless woman. Lichaba. Oh no. It has been days now since the sudden disappearance of our crown prince, Afana. Hmm. Although the police they are working seriously, they are investigating the matter. And I'm sure that by the time they end the investigation, we shall have a good report. Oh no, we should stop relying on these men with black uniform. They are not doing anything at all. Yeah. Go ahead. Bring that off. Let Jamika swear for us. Bam. Yeah. Let's go to someone in the evening mass. Okay, I had you very well, Ichi. You see? I have allowed everybody to do it his or her own way. Mm -hmm. I have taken my time and allowed time to speak. Mm -hmm. I have been calm watching the truth to surface naturally. Mm -hmm. But now, I have exhausted my patience. Oh. I will go ahead and bring the offer. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And Princess Trugo must swear that she has no hand in the gruesome death of my daughter, Adora. Mm. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Greetings, my elders. Onowu, His Majesty Igwezeka II of Ezeamuku Kingdom has just returned back to life. Huh? Get it? Yes, Onowu. Huh? Hey, Shubu. Hmm. Back to life. Hey, yes. Huh? Are you sure of what I've just said? Onowu, oh, yes, 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 yes. You don't joke with everything. Hmm. Are you sure? My elders are saying his budget have returned back to life. Let us go. Hey! Hey! My eyes have seen my ears. Hmm. Our ego is not a human. Hmm. Ichi, I agree with you. I totally agree with you. Uh, I think we must do the right thing now. We should unite and strive to let peace reign in the palace. Yes. yes. <clears throat> I'm scared though. You are scared indeed. You collected money from Lolo Achalugo to revolt against the crown prince. You think we don't know, right? Uh, how can you say that? The rot of the Igwe will soon come up over you. How can you say that? Eh? I know I collected the money. Eh? But I know what I'm doing. Eh? 
Eh? I will, how do you think I will leave the crown prince and support that stupid prince Jamaica? Yes, me too. That was what I did. Eh? How can I support Jamaica to become the crown prince of Asia Muku kingdom? No! I, I, to be honest with you, I just played along. That was what I did. <laughs> it's time to deliver what we are paid for. I hope two of you enjoy the money. Thunder will strike both of you. Uh, 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 look, I want you to strike with you. You will do this too. This! You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's okay. Criminals. What did they do here? It's okay. Nduri. We are guilty after all. Huh? But it is not late to make amends. Oh! Oh! Okonkwa collected as well. No wonder. He has been called all this while. Ah! No wonder. No wonder. These people are criminals. Let's leave here. Nduri. Let's have a day. Hey! These people here. Let them go. What is really going on, Ma? What do we call this? Why has this man refused to die? What is this? Buddy? Decomposing heart still pump. Obviously, he's not an ordinary man, mother. He's a deity. Honestly, your father is a strong deity on his own. Of course he is. How else will you explain a man building all of this very close to Ojomi River? You did not marry a human being, mother. You married a deity. I'm worried. In fact, I'm scared. Okay? We have to stop this right now. Who knows what next will happen? In fact, I am not interested in this mission anymore. Yes, because that man is not an ordinary man. He is immortal. He is a god. Mother, please. Let's just give it, let's give this up. Give it up already. Please, I beg of you. Jamike, for your own sake, please. Just let all of this go. I beg of you. Please. No. Never! I am not moved by any mysterious happenings. Not after we have succeeded to take away Afana and his mother. No! I will personally crush the dead. And this time around, he will die and never to resurrect again. Jamike, please listen to me on this one, okay? It is not too late to back out. It is not. Please. Whosoever the Lord has ordained to rule, let no man drag it with him. Our father is a strong man. He can exist this earth just like that. Delight, keep quiet. We don't know what deeper things our father must have been involved with. Who knows what he must have written to know? Mother, like I was saying, we need to beg His Majesty. I believe he's angry with all of us. That's why he keeps coming back from the land of the dead. He came back to life so he can see us happy, so he can see us united. 
We need to beg him, especially you, mother. We need to exempt ourselves from his wrath. Please. Mother, I think my sister Delight have got a point here. We should consider what she has just said. I thought you said I should keep quiet. Mother, what do you say? Oh, yeah, uncle. I hope it's okay. You tried. So much is our beer. One thousand. Just one thousand. Mm. For this sense. Yes. But it's a small money. Mm. Baby, can I want? Mm. Goomba. King sent me to you. Do not panic, Ugumba. His Majesty is still alive. Yes. I thought they have announced his death. You are right, but they came back to life for two reasons. One, you. Second reason does not concern you. Please. Am I safe? You are safe. Believe me, you are safe. Hey. Please come and answer this call and save us from this anarchy. Please. Hey! I will ever regret my actions. Mm. Hey! Oh God, please forgive me. Hmm? It's okay. I am truly sorry. Please. I know I've messed up, but I'm only a human. Nebikoya, please forgive me. I know I've messed up. I know I don't deserve you anymore. But please, find a place in your heart to forgive me and accept me back. I'm begging you. Please. I'm truly sorry. I'm sorry. But how could you? How could you? I don't you? know what came over me. I don't, I don't know what I was doing. I believe I was possessed by unseen forces. Baby, come on, look at me. I've thrown away my ego. I'm kneeling before you and I'm begging you to please forgive me and accept me back. You know I can't do this without you. I've not been able to sleep. I can't live without you. Do you want me to die? Please, 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 just forgive me. I'm begging you up to this world, please. Please, please, I'm begging you. Please, please. please. It, it's okay. Get on. Get on. I have forgiven you. Get on. See, I forgive you from the depth of my heart, okay? I love you. Rich. I'm sorry. I promise you this will never happen again. I'm a changed person now. Okay? It's okay. Miss you. Now, and she was a child days ago. I thought you said you paid. Yes, I did. You paid who? I paid the five million and he called to confirm that he received. 
received the alert, I begged him. Oh my God. Well, breaking news. She's very much alive and guess what? She's heading to this palace. Oh my God. No, this can't be. Hey, no. What? What? Oh God. Have you heard from Okatike? Your sister's fiance, have you heard from him? Have you seen him? Have you? I haven't heard from him. What? What happened? Hey. What is he? Oh. What happened? He brought, he brought a proposal to me about his international contracts, about oil and gas, and he needed me to bring us some money as partnership. Uh -huh. Then. He provided files, documents to show that it's real. And then I, he, I gave him 300 million for the contract. He's supposed to see me today. I haven't heard from him. I haven't seen him. And this is what I got. See? Just take a look. See what I got? I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. Oh, God, I'm finished. Oh, I'm finished. <sighs> Give him 300 million without my consent. My life is Hey! No, 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 this can't be. No, no, it can't be. This can't be. This is too much for me. He blocked me too. He blocked me. I'm finished. I'm finished. Oh my god. That's it. Oh then. my god. That's it. I'm finished. That serves you right, mother. I mean, this serves you right. No. This is what you get for sleeping with my boyfriend. And you blocked me. Sorry, ass. Don't, don't hit me. What did you just say? What did you just say? Um. Yes. I'm not. I'm not even scared of you. Okay. I. I. I caught mother kissing my boyfriend under this roof. Kissing. Yes. Tell me it's not true. That's why she had the mind to give him such an amount without even consulting me or any of us. She is lying. She is completely insane. I'm not lying. I'm not lying, okay? I'm not. If you think I'm lying, go ahead and swear. Why don't you swear it? Swear it, mother. Swear to the God of Hajomi River that you were not sleeping with my boyfriend. Swear, mother. Swear it. She is a bloody liar. Will you shut up your mouth or I shut it off for you? See the truth. This is your wayward. Shameless and useless sister is sleeping with Aziafa under this roof, under this palace. She's sleeping with her stepbrother. Oh, okay then, okay then. Moment of truth, right? Let's let the cat out of the bag. Aren't you sleeping with the same Aziafa? That's not true. No, deny it, mother. It's not true. I knew you were sleeping with him. It's not true. Oh, no. Enough. Enough. Both of you. Let's take a good look at yourselves. You're so shameless. 
you disgust me. No wonder I keep having setbacks in all my efforts. You two are shameless. Henceforth, both of you stay away from me. I won't say it again. Shameless! Shameless. You're shameless too. Shameless mother. Shameless idiot. Call the villagers. Oh, yeah, no. Help him. Oh, yeah, should I Should I go and help him? Or oh, maybe I should go and help him? Oh, yeah, no. Okay, let me try and help him. Remember? Oh, he's so huge. How will I even start?
Yes, I know he's not dead. Please help me save his life. Please, you just have to help me. I've tried everything that Baba taught me. I've tried everything, yet he's not responding to my treatment. Please help me. Save him for me, please. Stranger, please. Wake up. If you can heal me, please wake up. Wake up. I've tried everything. Please help me. I know you can help me. Please help me.
He's not dead. He's still alive. I am alive. I am not dead, alright? Please don't run. Um, where is this place? I mean, where am I? Like, I need to find my way home. My brother is at the hospital. I, I was kidnapped by my brother. They gave me some substance to take. I mean, a poison. You know? So, so that's all I... Your own brother kidnapped you and gave you poison. Hey! It's a long story, right? I am from Eziamuku Kingdom. Oh, yes, I need to find my way. Wait. Eziamuku Kingdom? Yes, Eziamuku Kingdom. That's where I'm from. Okay, fine. If you are really from Eziamuku Kingdom, describe their king to us. Yes. Let us know. Yes. The Igwe is very, very sick. I am very, very aware of that. But tell us, the sickness, what is it about? Okay. Um, he has speech impairment. You know, he finds it hard to communicate with people. So he literally writes down things for his subjects, if you understand what I mean. He writes everything down, you know, for people to understand. Like, if you know him, you know I'm saying the truth. You know about that. Okay. Yes. It's okay. Your town is very, very far. And it will take you like two days before you can get there. You have to come down first, yeah? Uh, okay? Uh, okay, no problem. Please, I, I, I need to find my way home. All right? My mother had a fatal accident. So I, I need to see her at the hospital. Hey. Yes. We are sorry about that. Um, Amara, hmm? go prepare food for him. He looks hungry and tired. You want to leave me here? Go fast. Don't worry. Go. Life. You wait for me till I come back. Are you eh? scared now? Go. Come, let me get you. Well, fast, please, fast. You need to help me find my way home. I'm going to okay? Help you. My mother is at the hospital. I need to see her, please. Don't worry. All right. God in heaven for giving me my life back. I thank God for not just giving me my life back, for giving me my health, giving me the ability sit with the good people of my family and even the evil men, evil people of my family and talk Jamike Jamike the mention of your name leaves a sour taste in my mouth. Jamike, Jamike, Jamike! Jamike. Hmm? I know how you killed me for the second time. know all the despicable things you've been doing 
all the evils you've been perpetrating in this palace, all in the name of ascending this throne, which you will never get. Javike, I know how you connived, how you used my cook, used my cook to poison my precious fruit juice. I know that. And I know more! You, that woman, that woman, that woman sitting there at Alugo. You are the repository of evil, of the devil herself. Your name, your second name should be devil, should be Jezebel. I know how you and your daughter, Drugo, connived and paid the truck driver to kill my darling wife, Ujunga. I know that. And I know more. Atalugo, I know more about your evil deeds. Atalugo. You have enjoyed sexual intercourse with Eziafa. What? Uh, <clears throat> with Okadike and other men. Atalugo. Atalugo, you are worse than a whore. Hey. Mother and daughter. In sexual intercourse with Eziafa. Despicable women. You and your children are the biggest, the biggest problem, the heaviest load. You, Turugo, Turugo, oh no, this girl, this girl deceived your daughter. She deceived your daughter, leading to your daughter's death. Oh, yes, deceived your daughter. In order to hurt my flesh. Oh. That was why my flesh was rotten. Oh. And everything was geared towards capturing the throne. Oh. Jamike. Jamike. The evil one. You plotted. You schemed and kidnapped the heir apparent to the throne. You had him kidnapped with a view to that you killed him. You thought you killed him. Ha! Ah! You did not. You could don't. The gods of our ancestors, the gods of our land, rose in his defense. He is the anointed. The anointed heir apparent. Our gods have saved him. And I want to tell you that before long, before long, the heir apparent to the throne, the rightful heir to the throne, Afana, will walk in here and claim the throne. His fathers, not this imposter, not this evil schemer. Not this satanic face. What did you call your name? High tension. 
Prince. High tension. Son, it's a long story. Make it short. Make it quick. Quick. <clears throat> Your father is. Gumba Pro. Ukutu. Speak to us, David! Who is my father? Your, your father is Ugumba from Ukutu Kingdom. I. I I couldn't stand your father's health condition. So I paid him to get me pregnant. Years ago, your majesty the king entered into a covenant of immortality. That is why he can never die unless water from this pot is spewed to the ground. He must have sent you. Yes. It is done. You can go and bury the king. Thank you. Thank you. Father, I am glad you spoke a word. No more pains. Continue to pray for this family and for the entire kingdom. Father, please, don't 
talk like that. I want you here. You don't have to leave now that you can speak. I need you here. Please, Father, don't leave. Please, Father. Please. Stay with me, please. Ten years there. My king. Afana. My father. My king. A man of great valor. Behold your people. Behold them. And your kingdom. Your reign shall be peaceful. Peace. Leave me. Leave me, all of you. I want to sleep. Igwe <laughs> Zika, the second of Asia Maku Kingdom, wants to sleep. Shall we please excuse him?